Hey there, world travelers. Hey there. I'm Tanya. And I'm Dave. And we are Turn It Up World. Welcome to the beautiful island of East Papua New Island of Isla Mujeres, it's, it's such a beautiful island. It actually stands for Island of Women. Hey, yeah, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but it's what's interesting about the island is it's only about four miles long, which is about a seven kilometer span, and its only width is about 2,000 feet wide. So it's not a huge island. Nonetheless, it is so beautiful. It really is beautiful, and if you're coming to the Cancun area, it's a real difference. You know, you yes. kind of you come to Cancun, it's crazy. You take the ferry over here, and suddenly you're in this, you know, just very, very much very, quieter very, place, oh. and especially at night. Yes, right. We that's find very true. right yeah, a lot because of folks we were actually here. We got in last night, um, so we were able to see just how quiet this island can get. Probably the most popular day trip from Cancun. Yeah, so during the true. day, it gets busier than at night when folks from Cancun go back to their all inclusives back on uh, back Can to Cancun. Cancun. <laughs> and interestingly enough, it's only about a 13-kilometer uh, ride, so it's about 30 minutes you know, from the island of Cancun by ferry over yeah. to this Isla Mujeres, which is wonderful. So today, let's just jump right into this. We are going to try some amazing dishes. So we got, again, some low, we love to kind of experience with like the locals experience. So we got some really good places to try out that were referred to us by the locals. The first one is supposed to have one of the best breakfasts and it's called mangoes. Yeah, mangoes. Yeah, yeah. and it's really <laughs> neat. And it has, a, according to them, the world famous coconut French toast. Right, and that and also a great eggs benedict. Yes. And it's Cuban inspired Mexican, and so Ooh. you have this hollandaise sauce with curry in it. So I'm excited to try that. Oh my that. gosh, so am I. And of course we're gonna explore some of the amazing things throughout the day. We're gonna kinda go with the flow. We have a really nice lunch that's gonna be prepared yes. for us. Yeah. And then we're just gonna figure it out from there in terms of dinner. We'll ask around for some more advice. But I think enough talking, we need to get this day started. Don't Let's, you think so? Absolutely. Let's rock and roll. here heading to mangoes i think what's interesting we got lost a little lost but it's a pretty kind of lost and then we ended up on this other avenue and the views here are just incredible it is so laid back it has such a great kind of vibe about this place you just feel like really safe i don't know a golf cars can ride anywhere anywhere even the major highway <laughs> we're in the major highway take a look at the major highway <laughs> That was really cool. Oh my gosh, that was like the scariest, yeah, coolest fun. thing I've ever done in a golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. try some of their oh, supposedly famous um, yeah, eggs benedict. benedict. Yeah. We were going to get the French toast, which is the coconut French toast, but unfortunately the portion sizes are just so ginormous that we decided to split yeah. a dish, the eggs benedict. It's actually, it's actually, for us, it's a perfect size. We have a great lunch coming up as well and dinner, and oh so we didn't want a huge breakfast, so this is perfect. It's yeah. really good. Right now, unfortunately, they lost power, so we don't have yeah, any no fans. fan so going. If you start seeing some glistening running down my face and cheeks, it's because it's hot as hell. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I'm ready to dive in to try this, aren't you? Yeah, let's do it. So let's let's see. Why don't we do this together? Why don't we go for, what do you want to try, the potato first or the egg? The uh, what do you want to do? Let's go for the vinegar. Oh, okay, here we go. We're going to cut right into this. This way you guys get our honest cakes together. <laughs> right. And I may actually have one with a piece of that potato. You got this nice, looks like a nice bacon. Oh, I know. Nice spinach in there Look as well. Look at that. It's like really cheese. Good. You have the egg in there, the onion. A little it's bit really of... nice in that potato. Yeah. Is that, right? is that potato or is there mushroom a mushroom in there? Yeah, that's I think it's a mushroom. mushroom. Yeah. Ready? 
Oh wow. Mm. Mm. That's really nice. Wow. That is yeah. really nice. Like That's really good. Mm. It has a nice fusion of flavors. You definitely taste like that bacon crisp that kind of mm. rides along the top of it. The onion, the cheese. I love the cheesy hollandaise sauce. Isn't it nice? It's really good. I could almost use a little spice to it. Right, I was right. thinking there's that. Not, not a little there's, hot sauce, You don't sauce, have that little maybe. hot spice yeah. that we are so used to. Maybe the like a little jalapeno good. or something yeah. in there. But it's really good. It's and, so good. And the egg is kind of subtle. It's oh, not yeah. like overpowering when it tastes like egg. It tastes a lot like more cheese and like the other compliments. And definitely trying it with that potato mm. was delicious. Wow. This, this is really good. Right? So can you remember this recipe because you think you can make this at home for me? Oh, yeah. Whip this together. Oh, wow. I can definitely do that. You guys heard that. So he's going to cook in the kitchen and he's going to keep this for me at yeah. home one day. I think they have them. They come in the freezer. You put them in the microwave. <laughs> Hit that button. I can do it two minutes. Done. Oh, right. Costco. Costco. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> here I think opens up at 7 o'clock. Right, it opens at 7. 7 o'clock. Yeah. And we actually got here, what time? Yeah, we got here about 9.15 and it was very quiet. It's quiet. Not many people there. at all. And now it's really busy. Right. It's about 10.20 now. 10.20. So right so. around that 9.30, right. 10 o'clock mark is when we started seeing people kind of, you know, coming in to the restaurant. Yeah. And now it's pretty much packed. So we are probably going to roll because we have one of the biggest tables in the spot here. And so this way we can open it up to other folks that may want to enjoy some of this delicious food. Yeah, absolutely. But first, I'm going to um, enjoy some of this coffee. And I think they have bottomless cups of coffee here, which is great for us. And it has a little bit of cinnamon in it, which is really nice. A nice little flavored cinnamon coffee. Yeah, and I didn't even know that. Like right. Dave, actually, when he tasted it, he's like, wait a second, this coffee has like a little yeah. twinge of cinnamon. I'm like, maybe it's in the half and half. Maybe it's a type yeah. of milk. And he's like, no. So he goes over and he asks, and sure enough, A little bit was. of cinnamon. He knows. He, he, he tells you, you can't get oh. any kind of flavors past this milk. That's right. I know my coffee. <laughs> yeah, good on my side. Okay. So yeah. we are now just going for a little golf cart ride before our next adventure. We don't know what's going to happen yet, but we're just going to enjoy it while we can. Yeah, have fun. Cruising the island. Oh my god, Davey! Oh my god, Oh my gosh! Wow, we sound like a part of the island here. That looks like it's being so built up for real estate. And there's a lot of these gorgeous houses for sale. I have no idea the cost of them at the moment, but I'm sure they're just incredible. Like this one over here. Woo, wait, look at that. My oh, yeah. goodness gracious. I could go for that. The water. That could be a nice little that could summer be a home. Nice summer home. <laughs> <laughs> for someone, not for us. That's yeah. pretty bit of our price range. <laughs> oh, watch this speed bump. <laughs> and I saw the sign that time. <laughs> yeah. A big suggestion. When you are coming to the island, Dave and I really suggest you guys get some of these golf carts. Get a golf cart or a scooter because there's so many little pockets in this island to see and it's pretty hot and humid. So it's really nice that if you have like a golf cart, you can really explore the island and the golf carts provide shade, which is really nice. Very important. Very important. Get yourself a golf cart because it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Welcome to the house of Tikin Chic. So we can check the grill to see exactly how the stikin sheet is being made. Oh, look at that nice wood. Wow, that's look at that. You know we like things that are oh, made yeah. with nice wood. It's not post oak though. It's not post oak, <laughs> but they do at Franklin's Barbecue. We actually saw how they made that, which was amazing. So you should definitely go check that video out if you haven't seen that one. But we are now in the kitchen. You can feel and smell uh, the, the amazingness that's going on wow, here. You so see good. the fish right there. 
And this is how it's being prepared. And who's preparing this for us? He's uh, Daniel. He's Daniel. Hello. How are you? Hola, Daniel. Hola. Hola. Oh, it's a pleasure. So you are the chef that makes yep. the tikinchi. Yes. Wonderful. So tell us how we prepare this. This is a this is a tikinchi. This is a, a, a kind of coronado. Oh. It's a jack. Oh wow. This is jack. Wow. wow. This is all the different ingredients that goes on to it. So this is a rub. So it's salt and pepper. It's salt and pepper. Pachiote. Pachiote. Okay, so that's like a nice spicy, little spicy, the barbecue. Yes. That's the barbecue. Okay. So and then of course you got the lime, tomatoes, onions. Wow, all the fresh ingredients, jalapenos, yeah. peppers, tomatoes. Woo! I give him a lot of props. It's very hot. Yes. <laughs> I see. So when you, as it cooks, you eat, you can pull out the pieces. Emma? Uh, oh. Uh, none for you. You're cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Thank you. Yes, yes. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, this is done. The palachiote. The palachiote. It's a, it's a, oh, so it's a rough. It's a condiment traditional of uh, Yucatan. Yucatan. Yeah. So it's Mayan. Mm -hmm. Very Mayan stuff. Oh my, my. Oh, so good. This is so good. The first tomato, onion. Oh, so he just slices, nice tomato yeah. slices, mm -hmm. and he puts it throughout. This is amazing. What? fish does not taste delicious with some red onion as he kind of layers those in there. Beautiful. Wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> So I will tell you, you need to make sure one, not to wear this type of color here because it does show <laughs> everything. I'm talking about the glistening sweat, the poison pits, the whole nine yards, it's kind of all shown there. It's like, a little hot it's here, a it's a little, little hot, hot here. Little, it's a little muggy, yeah. a little humid, Very probably like 95% humid. humidity probably. <laughs> like that's that moisture. salt and the humidity, it's like you're at a spa, right? <laughs> Giving you that deep, deep conditioning skin. Yeah. Well, deep conditioning skin. Yeah. Wow, where'd you learn that? I don't know. <laughs> We are getting right into these drinks here. I mean, this is amazing. It's the uh, Margarita de Pitaya. And Pitaya is actually the dragon fruit. Now, I love, love, love dragon fruit. And I wasn't sure if Dave was gonna, yeah, you know, good. like the way this looks. But boy, we tried these, and look, I'm almost done with mine. They're really, really good. You don't actually taste the alcohol. Yeah, you don't taste the alcohol. No, you don't. But I understand you might feel it after a while. So we just got our uh, grilled tequinchi, and it looks pretty awesome, traditional style. You want, to, want to squeeze some lime on it? What do you think? Be a good idea. Squeeze some lime on it. Wow. All right, look at that. All right, so. And from what we were told, the head is the best part of the fish. It has some of the most richest flavors, but also the tail is a great section, this side, the latter half of it, because it's a bit crunchy. So it's got like right. that nice crunchy part of the fish. So I think we're gonna, I think I am gonna start with, I don't know, I'm gonna start with the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Is that good? That's great. One it other smells piece. really nice. I'm probably gonna put a little bit of this. So I'm gonna try it with a little bit of the rice. Now it seems a little drier than the usual fish, but I'm, I'm, I'm curious to taste it because it probably has a lot of flavor. Mmm. Yeah. Really good, right? Wow. Yeah. Wow. That is really, really nice. I actually like it with the rice. It's just, I don't know, there's mm. something about it that gave like a really rich compliment to it. But the flavor is nice. It is definitely a little more of a drier fish, but I think the flavor just really pops with that uh, that special kind of Mayan barbecue sauce that's on there. What do you think? A little habanero sauce on this, so mm. I'm gonna give it a try because I'm a gringo who can't handle heat very well, so I gotta try this habanero. You know that. <laughs> a little tomato too, roasted. 
This is really, really good. Everything kind of blends together. You're gonna like the habanero sauce. You gotta try it with that. It's just so good. And I love the roasted tomatoes with it. The roasted tomatoes just explode. And they actually bring, gives you the moisture too. To have the tomato with the fish, with a little habanero sauce. This is actually a really good dish. It's a really great yeah, dish. Yeah, I would definitely get this again. Definitely, yeah. Wow, so I, I think, you know, we're gonna give this our, our high stars oh, here. Yeah. This is as good as like brisket. Mm. Almost as good as brisket, right? For fish. <laughs> it's like the brisket yeah. of fish. Yes, <laughs> that's true. We're back at our Airbnb here in Isla Mujeres, and we had a great day today. We yeah. had great breakfast, great lunch, but it was hot, <laughs> it was humid. I think we both lost probably about a gallon oh, of liquid. Yeah, for sure. And so we really need to replenish, and mm. so we're, we're replenishing really the only way we know how. Cervezas. Cervezas. <laughs> <laughs> I know we promised you guys a dinner this evening, but lunch was so massive, and it was so humid, and it was so good that we just could not, I can't put another thing in my stomach except little cerveza. <laughs> so besides the fact that we only have one more day here, one more evening here in our Airbnb, and the pool is amazing. We haven't gotten a chance to really dive into that. The views are spectacular. Oh, so yeah. we are looking forward to that. So I think we're just gonna call it quits right here. And you know what? We'll see you in the morning. Hasta mañana. Day two. Now I am standing on the Cliff of the Dawns, they call it here. And this is the easternmost point of Mexico. So it's the first part of Mexico that actually gets the sun rays. Wow. So this is where we are. We're about to catch the first taste of sun rays before anyone else near Mexico. It is absolutely gorgeous here. What was really nice is coming here and the crowds, there weren't any at all. Very few, right. if any. And we got here, like we mentioned earlier, extra early so that we can actually capture some photos um, in preparation that if there were a lot of crowds, um, we wouldn't be able to do so. But it's just amazing. So that could be a good point for you guys is if you're coming to Isla Mujeres or Punto Sur, it's maybe nice to come in the off season where it's not as crazy and as busy. You might have to deal with the heat, but the views and the peace and resistance is amazing. Yeah, I know the Punto Sur is really gorgeous too. And it's the frigates fly right overhead, yes. which is really cool. They climb right up over kind of the cliff, right over your head, and just, just gliding in the air, which is really neat. I'm just so happy that we actually did this. And oh, yeah, really boy, cool. you have to get up really early because those golf carts drive super slow. Oh, I know, and there's a lot of speed bumps <laughs> along the way. So I was like, slow down. There's a lot of trails here, which seem really cool. I want to walk the trails and check them out. Yeah, I It'll think really that's a good neat. idea.
absolutely amazing. The water is so nice and warm. Oh, it's just impressive. The blue skies, the colors. You cannot beat this for like, what, $16? Not even if you pay in pesos. Unreal. It's great. Yeah. Got a splash of the water. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so right now we are at Playa Norte. It's still bright and early, and there's not one person out except Dave, myself, and these beautiful views here. So Playa Norte is actually one of the beaches here in Isla Mujeres that actually gets really busy. Um, a lot of tourists come from Cancun to hang out for the day here, which can be pretty rough. You know, it's hard to find great spots when it's that many people. So you might want to come early, pick your spot, you know, maybe closest to the water so you can enjoy some of the views. It's just gorgeous here. And they have, looks like there's lots of little huts around the path yeah. here that are like places to eat right here on the beach, places to have cocktails. And parking, it seemed, uh, if you're coming here for maybe two hours and you have a golf cart, parking seemed to be two US dollars. Uh, and it goes up from there, depending on how long you plan on staying. Starting off the world. All right, so we're wrapping up our visit to Isla Mujeres, and we're at one of the best restaurants on the island called the North Garden, so we're very hungry. Yeah, yes. so we're definitely looking forward to it. Starving, and as promised, guys, see, this is the third spot. David did some research and found out this place had some amazing food and some really interesting drinks. One in particular, we're actually getting this margarita, which is pineapple and serrano. Oh, the one we had yesterday, if it's anything like that with a little oh bit of spice, God. it should Ooh. be perfect. And yes. ceviche and the food, I don't know what we're gonna order because there's so much good That's stuff good. on here and we're so hungry. But yeah, this place is so far, it's really neat. And uh, one thing I will tell you is that they only take cash. So there is no yes. credit card, but you can pay in dollars and you can pay in pesos. Preferably, I would suggest paying in pesos just because the conversion rate's a little bit different. But yeah. hey, nonetheless, welcome to the North Garden. Ah, it tastes good. Mm. It's actually really refreshing. Oh my so gosh. Good. Mm. <laughs> okay, so I got the skirt steak with uh, basically has pepper and onion. You know, ro it's really, really nice. It's really good. Right, it looks really good. It smells great. And uh, it's wrapped in a flour tortilla, but the tortilla is actually crispy with like a cheese uh, spread on it or something. It's really, really pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to jumping into this. Mmm, that's really good. I mean, you have a nice blend of you know, the steak with the pepper and the onions. And I love the spicy sauce. Spicy have an hour sauce. It's not too hot, but it has a great flavor. It's really good. Mmm. I gotta eat more of this. This is really good. So I got these, which is the shrimp North Garden. So it's got that nice poblano pepper, a little, uh, I guess also the flour tortilla, and it's an open, kind of an open taco. Now, if you don't mind getting your hands a little messy, you can pick it up like the traditional way of doing it. Dirty hands. Mmm. Give me a hug. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Banana. That is really, really well prepared. This, the shrimp, oh my goodness. It's very messy. Okay, truth be told. But the flavor is unbelievable. The poblano pepper has a little bit of spice. You almost can't taste the mayo that's in there, but you know that it's there because of the flavor. Just something that it does to it. The mm. flour, the tortilla is really soft. Almost like a rolled, excuse me, burrito style, but it has a really nice consistency flavor. The shrimp is definitely well done, and I just think it's really delicious. It looks good. Bienvenidos a Ultramar. Hey, so that about does it for us. We had a wonderful time over at Isla Mujeres. Gosh, to finish it up with that wonderful tasty dish that was, was great. impressive. Yes. I'm exhausted. I'm sure you're exhausted, right? Oh, I'm ready for a nap. And we have, yeah, I think that's <laughs> about right because we are now back on the Cancun side to really dive into our all-inclusive, which we will take you guys on that adventure. All right, that's enough. 
I'm Tanya. Thank you so much for joining us. And I'm Dave. And we are Turn It Up World. And as always, if you haven't already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Scroll over, hit that symbol that looks like a bell so that you get a ping every time you post something new and exciting. Thanks so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you on the road. Voila! 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 We must go eat and snorkel. <laughs>